Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2012 Grade 5-6 Contest Question 18, which also came up in the Grade 7-8 Contest. So the question is, in the following puzzle, identical letters stand for identical digits and different letters for different digits. Example, AB will be a two-digit number. Determine the value of the letters such that all three horizontal computations and all three vertical calculations are correct. Which of the following statements is correct? So, the first thing you will see here is the f in the first column, A divided by A equals E. Well, this is easy. We know E has to equal 1 because a number divided by itself is 1. So now we will use E equals 1 and substitute that into other equations. So now let's look at the other relations that the other equations have. So let's look at the first row. A minus B equals C, so we can also write this as A equals B plus C. Now let's look at the next row. A plus D equals EC. So since we know that E is 1, and it is in the tens column, we can write it as a plus d equals 10 plus c. So now let's look at the next row. e times ef equals ef. Well, we already know e is 1, so this does not give us any information to help solve other equations. So now let's look at the first column. So a divided by a equals e, which we already have down because we know e equals 1. So now let's look at the next column. b times d equals ef. So again, e is 1, which is in the tens column. So we can write this as b times d equals 10 plus f. And the last column we have is C plus EC equals EF. So we know that C plus C equals F. So one way to solve such equations is to use and is to substitute variables from one equation into another equation. So what we will do is substitute a equals b plus c into, into the second line. So instead of writing A here, we will write B plus C. So B plus C plus D equals 10 plus C. So now we know that we can subtract C from both sides. So we would have B plus D equals 10. So now we know that the sum of B plus D is 10, and we know that the product of B and D must be in between 10 and 20. So let's start with 1 and 9. The product of 1 and 9 is 9, but and that does not work because it is less than 10. So now let's look at 2 and 8. 2 and 8, the product is 16, which is between 10 and 20, so that works. 3 and 7, the product would be 21, which is over 20, so that does not work. 4 and 6, the product is 24, which is over 20, so that does not work. And the product of 5 and 5 is 25, which is over 20 again, so that does not work. 
So we know B and D must be 2 or 8. So we know that if B is 8, then when we look up here, and we know A must be a one-digit number, then we know that C would have to equal 1, but we already know that E equals 1. So we know that B cannot equal 8, so we know B must equal 2, and D must equal 8. So now we will substitute those values into line 3. So we have 2 times 8 is 16 equals 10 plus F. So we know that F must equal 6. And we see in line 4, C plus C equals 6. So we know that C must equal 3. And when you look at line 1, we see that A equals 2 plus 3. So we know that A must equal 5. So now we have all the values for all these variables, so now we would just look at the possible answers to see what is correct. So the answer would be F, A equals 5. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca.